Today, Anthony reviews the No Scope Gaming Glasses. Glasses for gamers? Sounds cool enough. And later, we announce the three daily winners in the $100,000 sponsorship, powered by Freedom. I'm your host, Tiffany, and you're watching Impulse. Thanks so much, Tiffany. Today, I wanted to talk to you about something really cool. Well, I think, anyway. These are gamer glasses, also known as computer glasses. I'm sure most of you have seen them. They're kind of like regular eyeglasses, but they're tinted yellow. The specific brand we're going to be looking at today is called No Scope Computer Glasses, or No Scope Gaming Glasses. Yeah, that, that's it. Gaming glasses, aka computer glasses, can usually be told because of the yellow tint. And they're tinted yellow because it helps filter out a lot of the harmful blue light around you. The great part about these is it helps your eyes rest. And of course, this is from personal experience because I wear them. This is also due to experience given to us by the community at large. Uh, Adam from Geek has a set. His actually come from a company called Gunner um, Gaming Glasses. They're a little bit more pricey. Uh, the no scope glasses will run you anywhere from eh, $20 to $40, I think, for the, the higher end. And there are three different types to choose from versus Gunner where they're cheaper and start somewhere around $60. So this is a nice entry level product and kind of looks cool if you ask me. I mentioned earlier that there are three different variations in No Scope's lineup and here they are. These are the No Scope Hydra glasses. These are very, I like them, they're very sleek. They don't let a lot in around the sides. Um, a little bit in the peripheral vision is not really um, taken care of. However, if you're looking at a monitor in front of you or even to the sides of you, it does the job perfectly well and it's kind of stylish. The Noscope Demon glasses are all plastic construction as opposed to the Hydra, who is plastic, metal, and rubber. These are all plastic in construction except for uh, some of the screws and whatnot. I really, really like these. These are the lower end $20 model, and this is what really got me into gaming glasses in general because of that lower price of entry. Normally, I would say an all plastic product is probably going to be inferior. However, I'll also share this. These things have been thrown across the room, stepped on, laid on, slept in, and they, they, they do a really good job of holding up. Mainly because when they do come disassembled, reassembling them, just a click away. There's one more set of glasses by NoScope that I actually own, however I think my wife might have run off with them. She's been wearing them recently, they're called the Orion glasses. And they kind of look very similar to uh, police interceptor glasses. The ones that uh, you would expect to see a state trooper wearing here in the states. Except they're tinted yellow. I really like them, she really likes them. I wish I could show them off, but I think they're in her car. I'd love to tell you more about the science behind the glasses, however, before I do, I think Tiffany has something she wants to say. Finally, I can game all night and not have to strain my eyes. It really sucks. And as always, in no particular order, let's announce the two runners up in today's $100,000 sponsorship, picked by Heartbeat Chrome. And as always, you get to choose from these lovely prizes brought to you by our partners with Freedom. And if you still don't know what the $100,000 sponsorship is, click the video in the sidebar for more information. Go. Now today's runners up. Wait, if I don't say anything, it won't cut to Rick, right? Our first runner-up is Lamen. Lamen explains that he talks about his YouTube channel at school and he now has a following thanks to everyone spreading the word. Our next runner-up is Fast Bullet Gaming. Fast Bullet proclaims that thinking of successful YouTubers will inspire you to become larger and more recognizable. Congratulations, Freedom Partners. And remember, you are still eligible to win first prize in a future episode of Impulse. Anthony! Where? Oh yeah, video. <laughs> Thanks, Tiffany. One of the great things about modern science is that sometimes the science is not all that scientific. Let me explain. Science has figured out that blue light, bad. Almost like Frankenstein thought fire, bad. Except here there's an actual scientific base behind it. Apparently, blue light has a tendency to keep people awake for longer periods of time, interrupt sleep schedules. It also has a tendency to keep your eyes 
um, focused at a certain depth level, and it doesn't really allow you to get that depth of field uh, like other forms of light do. Um, because of all of these issues, that's one of the reasons why gaming glasses like this, or computer glasses if you will, help you function better in life. Because you'll be able to go from gaming or computing to sleeping faster, because the harsh overtones of the light don't keep you up for longer periods of time, or mess with any of your other brain chemically stuff, you're able to function as a human being a little bit better, so you don't become one of those basement dwelling trolls that we all here exist. I don't know who that would possibly be. If you live in the U.S., you can actually have this shipped to you via USPS or U.S. Postal Service. It doesn't take very long to arrive, and it actually ships out of Cary, North Carolina, not too far from me. They may have other depots, however, every time I've ever ordered it comes from Cary. Normal shipping time is about five to seven days, and if you'd like to see any of the previous unboxings, overviews, or reviews that I've done, I'm sure that you'll find those over on the Geek Channel. That's been my time for this week. I hope it's been helpful for you. If it has, let us know in the comment section down below. If you have any ideas for future products or projects, let me know in the comment section down below, and uh, yeah, we'll explore those. Thanks, Anthony. Do they come in pink, blue, green? That'd be cool. I'd like that. Christmas! And now for the moment we've all been waiting for, let's see who's going to take home $250 in grand prizes. And as always, these are the lovely prizes that our partners with Freedom provided. Okay, Rick, it's time for the winner. Rick? And today's winner is... I Got Chaos! I Got Chaos expresses that using the right equipment can go a long way, even if you're on a budget. He was also extremely helpful in the comments and provided some awesome feedback to his other peers. I Got Chaos also states he's looking forward to more trash talk from Grandma. Congratulations, I Got Chaos! But tell me, do you have enough chaos to become... Supersonic? That's from a game. From the 90s. I'll show myself out. Congratulations, Freedom Partners, on a job well done. Remember, share your knowledge, discuss today's topic, and interact with other Freedom Partners like you in the comments below. You too could be rewarded for helping the community grow together as a family. Family! Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Impulse, and tomorrow Aaron is going to be talking to MC Sports Talk on how exactly he grew his channel. Until next time, I'm your host Tiffany, and I really want a pair of gaming glasses if anyone's generous enough to give me one. Thanks! Gas. Gases? That's bad. Don't. No gases for gamers. Stop on the Doritos, guys. Oh, so we can get in that little room and all. Okay, we know what happens. <laughs>There's some extra footage in there. I totally danced and dorked around while you were gone. <laughs> and as always, our partners with... Damn it! <laughs>